We're working hard to ensure a bright future for all of us, but we need your help too. We're facing some big challenges about how we manage water, so we've got some important choices to make. It sounds like something from a sci-fi film, but the reality is that there are pesky little critters in our waters that are making life tough for the wildlife near your home, and they're causing billions of pounds of damage that we're all paying for. These little critters are plants and animals from other parts of the world that have arrived in the UK by accident, and they are increasing rapidly. They are causing lasting damage, blocking waterways, resulting in flooding and affecting recreational use for anglers and boat users. It is estimated that they cost the British economy £1.7 billion every single year. They don't just cause us problems. The little critters, or as we call them, invasive non-native species, are big trouble for our native plants and animals too. Some outcompete native species by being bigger, stronger and better feeders. Some non-natives are faster growers or breeders, changing our landscapes and leaving no space for our delicate British plants and animals. This means that the things that are unique and special about where we live become harder to find and could eventually be lost forever. Invasive non-native species are usually spread by people, generally by accident or lack of knowledge. They are often tiny and hard to see and can be spread on wet and damp equipment and clothing. Wellies, boats, oars, fishing rods for example. So how can you help? When you get home, clean your boots or wellies. Because the next time you go for a walk, you might be going to somewhere where there aren't any invasive species and you're spreading the seeds on your footwear, so it's really important. With your dog, if you take your dog for a walk and, you're going to, and it's running through the bushes in an area like this where it could pick up all sorts, the seeds can get trapped in the dog's paws. We even asked our crew to check their shoes and equipment whilst filming. It is not only about checking kit and equipment whilst using our waterways, but the responsibility also lies with gardeners and pond owners. There's quite a few um, sort of non-native aquatic plant species that have come from the uh, sort of aquaculture trade. So these are decorative plants that are sold in garden centres for people to put in their ponds. And you know, if they're contained in that pond, then uh, it's not an issue. But if you're cleaning out your pond and there are plants in there, you should you know take precautions that they are they are you know go on your compost heap or are destroyed. Don't don't dump them in, in the nearest river. Small changes, big picture. 